Welcome back to the fourth quarter, the last 15 minutes of the one-hour program. Bobby Dupre show along with my sidekick, Andrew. Good morning. And uh, looks like we right down to the final, and we have very few pictures that we uh, actually have to show this weekend, but uh, the, we have several of them, and we want to get to them right away. I'm going to warm my warm, hands, warm your on, hands on, on the up. first picture. Go ahead and show the first picture there, Steve. Oh, uh, you little go. fireplace That's going. my big fireplace in my at my home, and and uh, uh -huh. keeps warm, and we burn some wood uh, lately. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed how much wood you cut yourself. Uh, oh, one. yeah, I've got, got, <laughs> got all the tools. <laughs> how about and this picture? Yeah, yeah, we kind of looking. Uh, Ray uh, Bello and I drove over to Gautier's, uh, and uh, they Gautier Homes, it says, Gautier On-Site Storage. There you are, On-Site uh, Storage. On-Site Storage. And, and uh, they use those commercial shipping containers is what they That use? is correct. And we're looking to buy one of those used ones. In uh -huh. fact, the one right in the back of those three gentlemen you, right there, you, that Garrett uh, Gautier is on the left uh -huh. and then Ray is in the middle. And uh, the young man there was on maybe his first day on the job. Uh -huh. uh, I want to say he didn't have a business card did yet. He, did he make a sale? <laughs> well, uh, Oh, you're still thinking. We, we're thinking, but we probably, we got our name on. Y'all shipping something to Africa? To Europe? No, no, no. To Just China? use that for storage uh, over at Winfield at the oh, deer okay. hunting camp. I thought maybe y'all were getting in, in, in offshore shipping. No, you know? not yet. Uh, you and Ray we'll see how this works well. out first. But uh, they have a large, large selection, and they don't just have some new ones. I mean, some used ones. They have some brand new ones. They've got some almost uh, brand new, and then you've got some little older ones. But show sure, the inside of uh, yeah, it's watertight, uh, watertight, uh, real nice and clean. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I might add that. Garrett uh, walked us around. He took his time, and because that was the first time I ever even considered buying one of these storage uh, units, but uh, uh, they are rainproof and. Uh, mm -hmm. Use them for a workshop, a building. It, uh, yeah, we have, we're going to store they'll, they'll some They'll build stuff extra inside things. of it to make it easier for you, turn yeah, it into a, four a trailer. Yeah, four-wheelers uh, during the hunting season. For? You won't have to be carrying that back and forth on trailers and all. How about this fireplace? And uh, spent the weekend over in Natchez at the little house there, and that's our living room. We were watching TV, and we still have our Christmas. Well, we took the Christmas, uh, Vicky and I took the Christmas decorations down. Uh, must have been Sunday, Sunday morning after Mass. There you go. And uh, this went do a little shopping at the Walmart store in uh, Natchez, and uh, I saw this man with these all these uh, bags of sugar. Mm -hmm. What is that, about a 10-pound bag of sugar there? It Way must more be, than, and he maybe probably more got than that. 20 in that uh, He's got a whole bunch of... drink a lot of coffee. Well, no, he's a horse trainer, and uh, really? he mixes his own uh, additive uh, supplements. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got his own formula that he makes, Mr. Willie. And uh, he, he lives there in the Natchez area, but uh, they're racing. His sons do the horse racing, and they race in Louisiana. So. There you go. Mr. Willie was nice enough to have a conversation with me. Thank you very much. And this is That's on the Sam's way sport. back uh, Monday, uh, the uh, Old River Locks there. And uh, that's not often that you happen to see the locks being actually used. But uh, this is a load of uh, limestone coming in to uh, the area. And uh, another Inside. view and uh, another boat waiting to uh, Come pass through. through whenever this other one goes through. And uh, the old the sunset, this sunset over the interstate, it looks like. Yeah, kind of looks like you it. You got the Tiger Quick Stop. It That's looks uh, like. Tuesday morning, uh, Don. Uh, Stemmons and I are on the way to an HBPA meeting in New Orleans, and that's that Tiger's. Uh, Mm -hmm. Truck stop that you hear so much about outside uh, of Baton Rouge, they, they own a tiger. They own a, actual own a tiger, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of people that want to get want get them not it. to have it, and it's a big lawsuit. Uh, outside of uh, the con of convenience store, you can see I'm in we in front of a convenience store there, and I'm I introduced myself. Uh, to Mr. Uh, Dave uh, Dixon and his wife, Miss Judy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I said, where are you all from? He said, well, Lafayette. And he said, where are you from? I said, Opelousas. He said, well, you must know Richard Oye. I said, sure, mm -hmm. Dickie Oye. And he starts laughing. Yeah, you know him well. I said, very well. Uh, everybody knows Dickie Oye. He's been sure. around a, a good many years. <laughs> he's, he's been and, around long enough to know everybody. And very active, I might add. Uh, 
to now he's still on the state he, racing commission. He and Moses both wore short pants at the same time. That's how long Mr. Dickey's been around. Good morning, and, Mr. Dickey. And so uh, Mr. Dave says, well, uh, you know where Vise community is mm -hmm. in uh, mm -hmm. St. Landry? I said, somewhere is in North St. Landry. I'm not sure exactly where. Well, he says, my son, no, Dickey's son, formed some of my land over there. there. So w all of this was over a handshake in uh, three to five minutes. We were Bobby, almost cousins. Bobby Dupre broke down. Ice. Broke the ice. That's what. That's how I make the program. Just like that. Thank you all, and good morning to Dave and Judy. And this is some New Orleans ice. You down yes. at the fairgrounds? At the fairgrounds, we left a little early so that we could make a delivery. Don uh, has uh, Don some Stemmons. Stemmons has a, a horse uh, training supplies that he sells, mm -hmm. and we made a delivery there. And uh, Joe Duhon is uh, the trainer that's receiving some of the products that were delivered uh, on the truck that we rode. We rode actually in a delivery truck, one of Don's right. delivery trucks. And, and wearing a ball cap. Uh, yeah. Mr. And, Don, he got a cowboy hat. Oh, yeah. Too. I and, know but works. the other guy is a real, real cowboy. cowboy. Joe, mm -hmm. good morning to you, Joe. And uh, he is a horse trainer. And uh, I had heard a lot about him, but never met him. We went into the uh, horseman's, uh, I don't think that's the HB, no, it's the Louisiana Thoroughbred Breeders Association mm -hmm. uh, trailer there uh, on, on the site of uh, fairgrounds mm -hmm. and uh, this is a one year old child using a, a, a stroller but uh, a stand up stroller right and a walker, uh, a walker. Like yeah, a, a walker. Can you imagine yeah. a walker for one year? I had never seen that. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the grandbaby of uh, Chrissy. And uh, I, I put it down somewhere as I wrote it down. Uh, It'll come to you. Oh. Uh, Keep oh, rolling, we'll come back he, to he, it. He's been very active in, in, in one of the associations. Uh, Sometime early, er, Mr. Early. Uh, Chrissy Early is on the HBPA board. Correct. She's one of the members mm -hmm. that serves with me and, and others on the board there. Right. And uh, her husband, uh, I'll get the name in a minute. It, it, I'm blank. I'm drawing a blank. But excuse me. And that's that grandbaby. They and were babysitting. One last sunset coming over the Chafalara Swamp Freeway. And that's, coming, and that's coming home last night, Tuesday there night. There you go. And that's all the photos I got. And kick back over to us. What else we got going on right now? We're in January. We're still a week and a half away from the big, oh, uh, it's the ball mosque that's coming up. It'll be over at the Opus Civic Center. If you need tickets, you can contact any of the women's in the uh, the women's uh, group here in town. You can call me. I can hook you up with some tickets. 351-0732 for the ball mosque. My godchild Austin, is in Your there. godchild, Austin, is in that. It's also a national holiday. It's January 25th, a Saturday night. Uh, the national holiday is Bobby Dupre's birthday, <laughs> her parent. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, and, and I'm, I'm going to miss her, but uh, I know she'll be beautiful, and uh, you're going to take some good pictures for me. I'll and make sure that happens. Uh, there was a nice uh, article in uh, People of Acadiana uh -huh. uh, that was in the Sunday Advertiser, and this particular oh, is friend. Mr. George Oldenburg. He's the right. owner of Zuziana. Right. Uh, used to be called uh, the Zoo of Acadiana. Correct. And I've got a little quick story about that. Go ahead. It, it's very interesting. We, we, meaning uh, myself, uh, Ashley, Chris, Nick Fakuri, and uh, Nick's good friend, uh, Cable, mm -hmm. better known as Piggy Prejean from Lafayette. Piggy, we were all at Toby's uh, Little Lodge uh, having lunch. It and uh, Piggy was one of these characters. I mean, is still a character. Mm -hmm. The other two that I mentioned, uh, Ashley and Nick, are both deceased now. But uh, Piggy uh, showed, he, he started talking about, I'm going to be opening up a zoo. It was a day of the anniversary party, because I ended up walking up when he pulled the, the blueprints out. But go ahead. I, I was there, too. You, you were there, too. Well, to I'm that. sorry. All those years ago. And so he kept talking about he was going to, and he says, doesn't seem like y'all believe I'm going to be opening a zoo. He said, let's walk out to my vehicle. He pulled out. He had hired a firm that specialized in the designing of zoos. Mm -hmm. And he had hired this firm out of 
Kansas City, I think it was, or St. Louis. And he, he says, yeah, look at this. On the blueprint. And, right and showed us that, <laughs> and I said, well, I'll be darned. And you know what? It wasn't long after that he met. He, he broke ground right broke, away. Broke ground oh. right away, operated it successfully. And, of course, he always had his bread and butter uh, business, which was the belt store of, of, mm -hmm. of, of, of Acadiana. Mm -hmm. uh, any type of belt, industrial, a home, or whatever you needed a belt, uh, the young lady that was the manager there. That is now owned by uh, the Jobert family from Opelousas here. Mm -hmm. uh, and and he's, the young man owns uh, Barney's Cleaners now, and he owns the belt store. And okay. I can't think of his name. His daddy is, a, is an elk member, comes to the Elks. He lives about six months out of the year in in uh, Maine, mm -hmm. the, the state of Maine, and the other six months uh, during the winter months, he lives over here. And I can't think of his name. His, his brother is Carol mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jobert. But Piggy that day was ticking off to us how many schools within so many minutes of where he was going to build a zoo, how many kids are in each school. Oh, he had studied he, it. I mean, he ticked it off. He says, you can get so much per kid, so much for this, so much for that. And he just, he knew, bang, bing, bang, bing, bang. He says, we need one here. And I was like, Baton Rouge is not, no, no, no. He says, we've got to have one here. And sometimes around that same time, he became single. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, was, he was going to meet a lady on a blind date. Uh-huh. Called me, he said, Bobby, what are you doing tonight? And I said, Well, what do you want to do? I was single. Mm -hmm. So he said, Why don't you come with me, uh, kind of give me a little support? I'm meeting a, a lady that uh, I'm being entered, I was introduced by the phone, by a friend, and I'm going to meet her for the first time. I'm kind of nervous. And for him to say he's kind of nervous, he must have been pretty nervous. Because he was a go getter. He was a go getter. So, anyhow, we went there, he met Rose, mm -hmm. they got married, mm -hmm. and they're still married, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, they're now living in Florida. I hope somebody mm -hmm. that contact, that stays right. in touch with him, uh, let him know that uh, we're still but thinking about him, and the zoo is continuing there. to grow, and this was actually his banker. Right here. This oh, man right. had been Ended in banking bonding. and yeah. wanted to just get out of banking. It had made him a good living. He loved it and all of that. But it's not what he wanted to do the rest of his life. He wanted this particular project. And he has since well, learned one thing. He's, it takes a lot of people to run a successful. He has 20, approximately 25 employees over mm -hmm. here. Big project. Big, big project. And he just, look, he fell in love with the animals. And, and don't forget, it's not just about bringing kids to the zoo now. If you're a business for example, Delta Media. When Delta Media, the parent company here of the TV station, when they had a Christmas party just a couple of years ago, they rented the zoo to have the Christmas party. So you go there, they've got the facilities, you can go around, walk around the whole zoo, use the buildings. Uh, it is a wonderful place to go. As a matter of fact, this past Christmas, they, they did it as well. So go and by. I remember, remember when Piggy didn't like banks, and yet he ended up selling to a banker and advertising for a banker. I, I like to rib mm. that, put that in there <laughs> on him. Uh, Get down to one minute left. One, so. one minute left, and uh, we usually try to close with uh, uh, asking you to consider uh, attending the church of your choice this mm -hmm. weekend. And uh, I try to uh, get a thought and this is something that that I read uh, uh, just just printed in the Daily World uh, Monsignor Keith Derwent uh, writes an article just about every week pastor at Queen of Angels Queen of Angels and uh, the thoughts and prayers kind of like this come to me all you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest mm -hmm. you see how easy all we have to do is sit with God in silence, consciously placing ourselves in His presence. He'll do all the work and all our work and our lives will then be changed. How easy, just a lot of thought and keeping God in your daily prayers and your daily uh, thoughts and 